Hi, I'm Travis, and I will be reading Lucio, side one. This is the point. The Duke is very strangely gone from hence. Upon his place, and with full line of his authority, Governor Lords Angelo, a man whose blood is very snow broth, and one who never feels the wanton stings and motions of the sense, but doth rebate and blunt his natural edge with profits of the mind, study, and fast. He to give fear to use and liberty, which have for long run by the hideous law, which as mice by lions hath picked out an act, under whose heavy sense your brother's life falls into forfeit. He arrests him on it, and follows close the rigor of the statute to make him an example. All hope is gone unless you have the grace by your fair prayer to soften Angelo. And that's my pith of business twixt you and your poor brother. Doth he so seek his life? Has censured him already, and as I hear the provost hath a warrant for his execution. Alas, what poor ability is in me to do him good? Assay the power that you have. My power? Alas, I doubt. Our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. Go to Lord Angelo, and let him learn to know. When maidens sue, men give like gods, but when they weep and kneel, all their petitions, as freely theirs, as they themselves would owe them. I'll see what I can do. But speedily? I will about it straight, no longer staying but to give my mother notice of my affair. I humbly thank you. Commend me to my brother. Soon at night I'll send him a certain word of my success. I take my leave of you. Good sir, adieu.